My name is Rachel Caprio and I'm an HR generalist. In general, one common mistake that people make is adding the I-9 to a personal file. And that should absolutely be kept separate from the rest of the documents um, that you keep for an employee. Um, in addition, um, there are any kind of um, identifying information about their nationality, their race, their, their gender, um, also any kind of information regarding their medical history or uh, doctor's notes all should be kept separate from their personnel file. So the personnel file is generally just work-related information that doesn't include any of those things. <music> Write-ups and disciplinary uh, measures should absolutely go in the personnel file and they should be kept careful uh, records of those so that if there's ever a time that there's a question about what happened, especially if there are um, a, a more than one uh, write-up or situation, you would want those to all be included because as you progress towards some kind of termination, you would want documentation of that. So there's no question as to whether the person was uh, discriminated against. It was clearly based on the performance and that decision is a business decision. I would say key points on write-ups would be um, information that, uh, specific facts about the situation um, leave out as much of the subjective details as possible. Really what, what we are looking for is um, direct facts about the case. In addition, any policy that you've given to the employee, it may have been included in a handbook or a particular policy that supports why this is a problem. And um, you would want to have that reviewed by the employee in a meeting and then have them sign it so they can also have the opportunity to comment in that uh, documentation and that it shows that you did meet with them and share this with them. In general, the employee has the right to review their file. However, it depends what state you're in. So it's best to review the regulations in your state before doing so. Um, it is a good idea to go ahead and let them review that and you may want to be in the room with them or as their manager um, in the room with them so that you can answer questions. But generally it makes the issue go away. Um, they usually want to know what surprises there are and if there are no surprises it's nice for them to be able to see that and feel like they have the right to that. I would recommend in a situation when you know that there um, is a legal um, uh, any kind of legal action happening, that you talk with an attorney before you proceed any further with any kind of request from that employee. That would be the conservative thing to do. Mm -hmm.